So we are going to go over some of the basic properties of Euler's totient function, which is a very important function in number theory that pops up in a ton of important theorems. Now Euler's totient function is usually denoted by the Greek letter phi. So we say 5n is Euler's totient function, and we define that totient to be the number of integers on the interval 1 to n inclusive that are relatively prime to n. Now relatively prime is another word for co-prime, meaning that the number shares no prime factors with n. So let's look at one example. What is the totient function of 6? Well, we know that we're looking at the interval from 1 to n. In this case, n is equal to 6. So all of the integers between 1 and 6. That's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we want to find the number of integers in this set that have no common factors with 6. We know that 6 is equal to 2 times 3. This is the prime factorization. And therefore, we need to find the numbers that don't have a 2 or a 3 in their prime factorization. That's going to be 1, not 2, because that includes a 2, not 3. 4 includes a 2 as well. So even though 4 doesn't divide 6, it still has a common factor, so they're not co-prime. On the other hand, 5 definitely is, and then of course 6 is not. So we see that there are two integers on 1 to 6 that are co-prime to 6. They share no factors. And therefore, 5, 6 is equal to 2. Now we're going to look at some specific examples of the totient function when we look at some prime numbers. Let's start off with the simplest case of the Euler's totient function. What is the totient function of a prime number? So in this case, we're saying that p is prime. Well, remember that the prime factorization of a prime number is just p. It is its own only prime factor. And as a result of that, if we look at the interval 1, 2, 3, and so on, up to p, none of these numbers in here are going to share any factors in common with p. Because in order to share a factor with p, they would have to include p in their prime factorization. But it's impossible to include p in your prime factorization and still be less than p. You'd have to be at least equal to p. Which means that all of the numbers in here are co-prime to p. Of course, p is not co-prime to p because it's equal to itself. Now we want to find the number of integers that are co-prime to p. That's going to be the number of integers in here. Well, that's all the numbers on the interval 1 to p except for p. And the number of numbers in that interval is just p minus 1, since we're not including p. So for any prime number, the totient function of that prime number is equal to p minus 1. For example, the totient function of 13 is equal to 12, since 13 is a prime number. So now we've seen the simple example of phi of a prime number. Now we're going to look at a slightly more general result, which is the totient function of p to the power of some number. So p is still a prime number, but now we're choosing some positive integer as an exponent. In order to figure out what this is, we first need to look at the prime factorization. Now, of course, because p is prime, the prime factorization of p to the a is going to look like p times p times p times and so on. So the only prime factor is p. What that means is that all of the numbers that share a factor with p to the a are just all the multiples of p. What are those? Well, that's going to be p, 2 times p, 3 times p, 4 times p, and so on all the way up to p to the a. This is the last number in our interval. And we can also write p to the a as p to the a minus 1 times p. The reason that we do this is because our goal here is to count the number of integers in this set. And we can see that all of these are just multiples of p. So the number of multiples there are is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to p to the a minus 1. That's how many multiples of p we have. 
So we're looking at p to the a minus 1 numbers that share a factor with p to the a. But remember that our goal is not to find all the numbers that share a factor with p to the a. Our goal is to find all the numbers that are relatively prime. In other words, they share no factors with p to the a. And that's going to be all of the numbers except for these ones. So the way that we can do that is by thinking first how many numbers are in the interval. That's going to be p to the a, because we're looking at the interval from 1 to p to the a. Now we want to subtract all of the numbers that share a factor with p to the a. Well, that's just going to be all the numbers in this list, and we know there are p to the a minus 1 of those. So phi of p to the a is equal to p to the a minus all the numbers in this list, which are p to the a minus 1. This is the number of multiples of p. And we can factor out a p to the a minus 1 here to get p to the a minus 1 times p minus 1. So that is the Euler totient function. It counts the number of integers on the interval 1 to n that are co-prime to n, that share no factors with n. For a prime number, we saw that the totient function of p was equal to p minus 1, since all the numbers other than p share no factors with p. And then we also saw that the totient function of p to the power of some number a was equal to p to the a minus 1 times p minus 1.